Hey everybody, it's Alder here and I'm gonna explain you all about FN layers on your Wooting keyboard. But before I start off, it is quite vital to know as well that you know your way around remapping keys on your Wooting keyboard. If you don't know that yet, then I highly recommend you to check out the tutorial in the description down below. But yeah, let's get started. So what are FN layers exactly? Well, FN layers finish in like a stacked parking garage. The first level is right in front of you, easily accessible without any effort. Just like the physical keys or your keyboard, or you know, your main layer. You can press them immediately whenever you need to, but when that space is full, you need to go up a new level. And to do that, you have to take a ramp. In this case, that ramp is the FN button. By holding down the FN button, you can access an additional layer of keys, making it possible to expand your keyboard's functionality beyond the main layer. With with wooden keyboards you can create up to 3 additional layers. This is especially useful on smaller keyboards like the 60HE. You get the benefits of a compact keyboard while still having access to all the keys you need. Now, let's go over how to create an FN layer and make the most out of it. Start by heading to the remap tab. On the left side of your keyboard settings, you'll see that the FN layer is already there by default. Clicking on it reveals the default function profile, where you can simply drag and drop any keys you want to assign to this layer. But to access this FN layer, you must assign an FN1 button on the main layer. Otherwise, there's no connection between them. Just like you need a ramp to go to the next parking level in the parking garage, you need an FN button to reach the next function layer. Once you hold down the FN1 button, you'll access your FN layer. And when you release it, you will return to your main layer. If you create three FN layers, you can even assign FN buttons within each layer, effectively linking them like multiple ramps in a parking garage. However, this can become pretty tedious since you need to hold down a lot of keys at once. A better approach is to assign FN keys to buttons you rarely use on your main layer. For example, I've bound the caps lock key to FN1 since I never use the caps lock anyway. This lets me quickly access the afro with one hand on the Wooting 60HG. And if you don't want to lose any key's original function, you can also use mod tab. So a short tab still activates the regular key function, while holding it down triggers the FN layer. In the character tab, you will notice the FN1, FN2, FN3 and the FN lock button. As expected, FN1 takes you to the first FN layer, FN2 to the second and FN3 to the third. And these work as long as you hold them down, but the moment you release them, you are back on the main layer. And this is where the FN lock comes in handy. If you need to use your FN layer for an extended time, holding down the FN key just isn't practical. By assigning the FN lock button in your FN layer, you can lock into that specific FN layer. So when you hold down the FN button and press the FN lock button, you'll be locked in, even after releasing the FN button. You will also see an LED light turn white on the FN button itself, to indicate that the FN layer is locked. You can always go back to your main layer by holding down the FN button again and then simply press on buttons. But if you just want to have your main layer consistently, you just simply have to press the FN lock button once again. Now, you might be wondering, how do you keep track of all the keys you've assigned to different layers? Thankfully, the RGB lighting makes organization much easier. Under the RGB settings tab, you'll see a layer option on the left of the keyboard. Each RGB layer corresponds to an FN layer. So just pick a color and apply to the specific key sections to differentiate them visually. Then click on the save the keyboard button and you know, try it out. You will see that when you press the FN button, the LEDs will shine corresponding to what you have filled in. And this way, remembering positions will be a lot easier to manage. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or feedback, let them know in the comments below. And if you want to get more in-depth information about certain features in Wutility, then of course check out the playlist in the description down below as well. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.